Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, president of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking an image and giving it a stained glass look using our Photoshop plugin, Tunit. So the first step, obviously, is to apply Tunit. So go up to your filter menu, which is off the top of the screen here. Go down to the Digital Anarchy submenu and go to Tunit. And that will launch the Tunit UI. And I'll resize it here just to kind of fit everything onto the screen. The stained glass look is pretty easy to achieve. All you really need to do is select the crackle style. And then you're going to turn on marker outlines. Now that's the basics of it. Obviously this doesn't look a whole lot like stained glass. So there's a lot of tips and tricks to kind of getting the look right and understanding what Tunit's doing with all these parameters in the marker outlines and crackle sections. And so the first thing we're going to take a look at is the marker outlines. You'll notice that reuse crackle is turned on. And what this does is basically syncs up the flatness, simplicity, and separation with the flatness, simplicity, and crack size. Now in the shipping version, there's a bit of a spelling bug. Separations should be crack size. They are the same parameter. And when reuse crackle is turned on, separation takes the value from crack size. So that's something to know. But the first parameter we're going to change is the thickness value. And we're going to set that down to 1. Usually thinner lines are a little bit better than larger ones. There are certainly uses for having a large grout size between these stained glass pieces, but usually the thinner lines work a little bit better, and that's what we're going to go for here. And I'm going to switch briefly over to the Outlines tab, because we don't really want the regular outlines turned on. They kind of conflict with marker outlines and don't really add anything to the effect. The marker outlines take their shapes from the crackle style, and the regular outlines just kind of do their own thing. They don't, they don't create the outlines based on any particular style. So I'm going to turn that off. And just so we can see the marker outlines by themselves, I'm going to turn on outline only. Now let's take a look at minimum difference. At the default value, we get kind of this almost etch-a-sketch type of squiggly line look, which really doesn't work too well on this image. Um, actually, it doesn't work too well on most images. But every now and then you get kind of a cool effect out of it. But usually, especially if you want stained glass, we're going to set minimum difference down to 1. And basically what that's telling marker outlines is to apply an outline to every color region that Crackle produces. And so if I go back to outlines, turn off my outlines only, and fill in the color regions, you can see that Marker Outlines is creating a outline for each of the Crackle color regions. So let's head back to Marker Outlines. So the next thing you might notice is that all of the glass pieces are pretty small. And there are a variety of ways that we can change this. The easiest is to adjust crack size, and we'll adjust that up to, say, about 20. And that, of course, produces much larger glass pieces. In this case, they are a little bit too large. But this brings up a good point and is a good time to talk about resolution. One thing to know about Tunit generally, and especially the stained glass look, is that resolution matters. If you are not zoomed in to 100%, what you see in the preview will look a little bit different than what you get in your final render. Sometimes it'll look substantially different. You can see that if I zoom out, my glass pieces are going to change. We're going to get a different look depending on how big we're looking at the image. If we zoom all the way in, set this to 100, we're going to get something pretty significantly different than what you're seeing here. So while, the, while zooming out is good for kind of setting things up and getting a quick preview, if you really want to see what's going to finally render, you need to be zoomed in 100%. And this will take a little bit longer to render than it will if it's zoomed out. But in order to see actually what you're going to get, you have to be in at 
All right, so let's talk a little bit about the size of the pieces again. Like I mentioned, there's many ways to affect it. The easiest is crack size, which we've already changed. You can also use flatness and simplicity, and you can also use the main blur. Main blur applies a pre-blur to the image, blurring it out before the crackle algorithm is applied to it. This means that many of the edges that crackle might pick up are blurred out so Crackle sees larger regions of color, resulting in larger glass pieces. So if I crank this up to say something like uh, 13, and crank the threshold up to say 29 or 30, you're gonna see you're gonna get much different arrangements of color regions and pieces, and generally larger pieces. Now what's happening here is the radius is the amount of blur, and the threshold is how much of the image is being affected by that blur. And so actually I'm gonna tone this down just a little bit and maybe set this to about eight. And that'll give us a fine look and we'll run with that. Now obviously you can fiddle around with these settings as much as you want. Play around with the crackle settings, play around with your blurs, play around with the marker outlines to get exactly the look that you're going for. But I'm pretty good with this, so we're gonna click OK and that's going to render that back out to Photoshop. And that gives us a, a pretty nice stained glass look. And so that concludes our part one of our stained glass tutorial. Check out part two, which goes over a couple advanced tips and tricks. And of course, there's a lot more tutorials on www.digitalanarchy.com, as well as demo filters and all sorts of other good stuff. So check out the Digital Anarchy website and thanks for watching.